big picture. I always like to look at the big picture. What is Urbana doing differently that Oakdale, Linganore, TJ is not doing? Well, aren't they the site of the International Baccalaureate Program as well? But they're, so they're attracting so their magnet schools. None of those schools were in the IB. They weren't? Okay. No. See, yeah. and I, I, will, I thought because yeah. I, I yeah. don't plan I, I don't have an answer for it. I would suspect that that would play a role, but it's interesting you're saying they're not part of the they IB. Weren't. So. They weren't. None of those girls. People were. debated that for and one those results. Were for, well, <laughs> one of them, and, and so their backgrounds, and this is what I love about that you look at these four girls that come from different backgrounds, poverty, non-poverty, but they all go to the same school in Urbana. Yeah. And one, they're all high achievers. We should replicate that maybe. Why don't we can't. Why don't we can't. Why don't we can't. Like she got into Yale. Yeah, let's just go and then I've got, I don't want to zoom through that. You know, all I want to say, it's so interesting what you're talking about, and I, I really wonder if it's the leadership there, yeah. the principal, because really, you know, yeah. when you think about it, it's the context of leadership, yeah. and it really could be something that he or she is doing that, that again, to your point, Tom, could yeah. be replicated. So, that, that well, and there's a wealth factor, it. too, because a lot, Urbana attracts a lot of wealthier Montgomery County folks to work. So, so at the end of the day, it is and it's more, more diverse. Yeah. And more diverse. Yes. The IB, yeah. the IB girl, the IB students are diverse because they have to be driven there. But like the assistant principal lives in Hillsboro Creek, that right next to us. So I know who she is. All I'm trying to say is there's something that Urbana is doing different, and just yeah. because they have more students, every school around Frederick has around the 2,000 students. Yeah. They have 2,000. It could be expectations, they said. I don't no, know. Maybe the competition. Maybe it's competition. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. But well, I'm just we should we should figure that. I mean, it's a great topic for another day, but that would be interesting to see. Well, no. What I'm trying to say is, when when we're when the teachers are lacking, yeah, what the schools are not doing, what the counties are not doing, we kind of have to start at home. What is it that the schools that are doing? Right. The ones that are being successful. Instead of looking at the big Yeah. Right. Let's see why is Urbana doing such a big, I mean, yeah. we, I and mean. Florida Classical is like 20 points higher, I think, somewhere around there in every category than the rest of them. What are they, well, I can tell you what they're doing. They're not doing the things we're talking about. Yeah. So maybe Urbana is, has better instruction. I'm just saying, I'm going to tell you at the end of next week how yeah. many girls from Urbana are coming. Um, and then we will have some answers I just have one recommendation. It's something that I used to do in my practice would be to go into, you know, someone who's high performing like that. This was yeah. at a corporate level, but go into Urbana, and do an appreciative inquiry type of thing, find out what are they doing so right. well, and do like, you know, incidents based. Yeah, I'd love to see a study. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, figure out what kinds of competencies are we looking at to yeah. you know, kind of distill those down, but that's great information yeah, to report. Yeah, Urbana has been a powerhouse, everything, oh, yes. academic, athletics. But know. I do, it, and I'm just gonna add, I do think that you made a good point that there are some really good um, administrators yes. that, that motivate, set higher expectations. Yeah. They, Does anybody remember Tom Shade? in Frederick County Public Schools, you guys are too young. Um, I want you to talk. Did you? Yeah. He was a phenomenal principal at New Market. And it, it, they always, we always excelled because Tom would, I mean, he'd get up on the roof of the school and the kids met their reading goals, he would get up on the roof. And the kids, you know, he'd be sitting, he'd be safe. But it just, that's an example, it's just amazing. You know, I'll go through this fast. So then teacher shortage, one of the underutilized things that Frederick County, um, hasn't done, and other counties have done, and they were convinced Nancy to do it, is using Maryland's alternative certification program. So because the certification doesn't matter, we could open the applicant pool up to other people that have relevant experience. So New Jersey's getting 20 to 25 percent of its teachers from its alternative. We're getting about one percent. Uh, it's just an underutilized program. Um, so there's a certification training program. There's also the resident teacher certificate and the resident principal certificate that will allow you to come in with just a bachelor's degree and, and get your certification requirements met while you're actually doing the job. Yes. Um, 
I really think that's important. They're hiring more and more of those. Right. Oh, here? Are they, are they starting to do that now? Yes, okay. they're starting to do that now. That's good. Well, I guess there's more of a teacher shortage than there yes, there wants exactly. to be. So it's almost out of desperation, not yeah. necessarily, because they think it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. That, that, in general, that's what will drive these changes. Like, I love to think that the scientific evidence would, but it'll be desperation and legal mandates typically make government move, right? Yeah. Um, so, all right.